Welcome to the Mass for Inspiration. The Mass for Inspiration is being brought to you in part by Beltway Diner and Restaurant, 250 South Church Street, Hazleton, 570-450-6280. Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home, 229 West 12th Street in Hazleton, 570-454-8341 or online at moranfuneralhome.com. And the LaSant Family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In today's Gospel, Jesus talks about marriage. And as they continue to ask questions, the disciples and those who were present, he says and refers to in the beginning is how he starts his statement. <clears throat> and whenever he says that, he's actually referring to the Old Testament, the sacred scriptures, actually the book of Genesis in this case. And he talks about how God created man and woman and to become one. So we know that the great gift of marriage, that Jesus raised that to a sacrament. So we look at all the sacraments as great gifts for us as sources of grace. So with keeping that in heart and mind, let us now prepare ourselves to enter into these sacred mysteries by pausing for a moment, calling to mind our sins and asking God's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to, to God, God in, in the, the highest, highest. And, and on earth peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless, we bless you, you, we adore you, you we, we glorify you. you. We, we give, give you thanks for your, your great glory, Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpassed the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all of the cattle, all of the birds of the air, and all wild animals, but none proved to be the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. May the Lord, the Lord bless us all, all the, the days, days of, of our, our lives. lives. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walks in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. 
May the Lord, Lord bless, bless us, us all the days, days of, of our life. lives. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. May the Lord oh, God, God bless us all the days of our lives. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Sion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May the, the Lord, Lord bless us all, all the days, days of our lives. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, he for a little while was made lower than the angels, that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the leader to their salvation perfect through suffering. He who consecrates and those who are being consecrated all have one origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Pharisees approached Jesus and asked, Is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? They were testing him. He said to them in reply, What did Moses command you? They replied, Moses permitted a husband to write a bill of divorce and dismiss her. But Jesus told them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. In the house, the disciples again questioned Jesus about this. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. And people were bringing children to him that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced them and blessed them, placing his hands on them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, this be Gospel passage begins with Jesus being tested, tested by the Pharisees. They were always trying to ask a question that would cause Jesus to be unpopular with either the people or the authorities. So one way or another, they were trying to turn people against him but he always seemed to have an answer that turned everything back around onto those who were asking the questions and trying to trip him up. This situation is not unlike all those others. They ask about marriage and divorce, and they already knew what Moses had told them they were to do or not do, and he tells them why Moses gave that law, that Moses wrote that, and it wasn't one of the Ten Commandments as he was talking about this bill of divorce, but he was talking about what Moses had instructed them to do. Jesus said, because of your hardness of hearts. But then he goes on and he takes it to a scriptural level. He says, in the beginning, which is basically code as every time Jesus said that, and the people who were standing there would have known it. He said, God created the male and female so that a husband may leave his mother and father and take his wife and the two become one flesh. So when he says in the beginning, he's referring to the book of Genesis. He's referring to what everybody knew about creation, what they had from the sacred scriptures. So in the beginning, we heard that in the first reading about how God created man and woman, how he put Adam into a sleep after creating him and removing a ribbon and creating Eve. Well, when Jesus was talking about it, just as the people in Old Testament times when they heard this, they would have been in shock hearing that God removed a rib. For us, it doesn't make a big deal or make uh, or cause a lot of uh, concern. 
They go, all right, this is how we decided to do it. But for them, they didn't have the benefit of modern science and thought that everything came from the heart. All the memories were stored in the heart. They considered all the emotions came from the heart, all our thoughts generated from the heart. But more importantly, that the most important part of a person, that part that lives forever, the soul, resided in the heart. So when you remove a rib, the rib cage is the armor that protects a person's very soul. It protects the heart. So to remove one leaves the person exposed. And that was a big deal. So what happens is, it makes sense then that God would do it this way, that the man desires the woman, so the two become one and complete and, and remove that part of the person that's exposed. And so that they are completed. And just like and we hear in the marriage, right? Just as Christ loves his bride, the church. So it's not always necessarily a husband and a wife, but it's whenever that we are there for another person. Whenever we count on someone, and someone is there for us. It's only through the grace of God that that all happens. And then we look to be there, and so that somebody isn't exposed to a hardship or some kind of difficulty. So whenever we can help that person to handle whatever comes their way, it makes a big difference, and we are participating in God's divine plan, as Jesus says, as it was meant in the beginning. I, I believe, believe in one God. In one God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Let us now place our needs and the needs of the world before our God who always hears us. For members of the church, that frequent reception of the sacraments will give us the strength to grow in holiness. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they will manage their nation's resources with justice toward all, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the protection of all human life, from conception to natural death, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, that we might always remember our call to be Christ for others, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, that they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and loving God, we know that you always hear us. We ask you to answer these prayers and those which we hold in the silence of our hearts. And we ask this as all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, 
will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, Lord God of hosts, of hosts heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is, is he who comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and profess your resurrection until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, Monica. Peace, peace be, be with, be with you, you, Father. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. The Mass for Inspiration is being brought to you in part by Beltway Diner and Restaurant, 250 South Church Street, Hazleton, 570-450-6280.
She also a Moran Funeral Home, 229 West 12th Street in Hazleton. 570-454-8341 or online at moranfuneralhome.com. And the LaSant family. 